win the league. Hey guys, how's it going? Shin Bob here, and today I'm talking about something that everybody's been talking about lately, and that is some of the problems in Destiny and ways that we could possibly solve these. And I thought it was just about time for me to throw my hat in the ring, so to speak, and say what I would do or how I think that we can make Destiny great again. Now, I'm not saying Destiny is a bad game. It's a great game. I love it. It's my favorite still, um, but there are a few things that are troubling at the moment and we need to address these I think to keep the game good and moving forward and keep the developers honest. P.S. I love you Bungie, don't hate me. So some of these things I'm going to mention are things that I think we could implement fairly soon like in the next patches in the next month or so. Um, other things are things that possibly we shouldn't expect maybe until Destiny 2 um, and hopefully that's what they're working with. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is connections um, and this is probably something that we should probably wait until Destiny 2 to expect. Um, but I think that we probably can't get rid of skill-based matchmaking completely, but I think they at least need to tune it a bit more towards connection-based uh, rather than skill. Um, that way you don't alienate any players, no one's sucking too much, but at the same time, those highly skilled players and the ones that are playing it like a lot more um, aren't being punished for having good skill level and decent connections. Another thing along these lines is, can they please update the net code so we can get a high tick rate um, that means no trading and things like that. Um, and also, can we get dedicated servers? Now that's something I only expect for Destiny 2, but I just pray to God that they're, they're working on getting dedicated servers for Destiny 2. Okay, the next few things I'm going to talk about are things that could possibly be implemented in the coming months and stuff before Destiny 2. Um, and they're sort of more based around gun balance and things like that in the Crucible. So I think a solution that kind of made itself quite evident uh, in this weekend's trials, the last weekend's trials by the time you're watching this video, um, would be to put some of the bigger maps in rotation like First Light and Bastion and stuff because it gives, I guess, a home for people to use snipers and scout rifles. Um, all the other maps seem really tailored to close range combat and therefore there's more shotguns, fusion rifles, hand cannons, pulse rifles and stuff. So we saw quite clearly, I think, if you played Trials last weekend that Scout rifles were quite strong, sniper rifles were great, and you could still use other weapons, but this is where they dominated. Whereas with other maps and other game modes, that's where shotguns dominate. So I think this is a good way to just keep keep the maps rotating and keep the flow of guns a bit different. Again, that's just my opinion, and we'll see if they do end up doing that, but I think that would be really good, and I would enjoy that personally. Even if the vehicles weren't on, maybe just sparrows, um, I think it would still be pretty fun, and people would adapt to it. All right, and moving right along onto hand cannons. Now, I think that they definitely need to get rid of ghost bullets and this bloom crap. Um, I think they should go down more of the path like Titanfall has, and when you're in air and trying to shoot, there's just a lot more recoil on weapons, so your bullets still go where they're meant to go, where you're aiming, but it's harder to aim, so it's sort of a bit of a trade-off, but if you are good enough, your bullets will hit. I just don't know why they've put this sort of RNG shooting style into the game because now that Destiny is trying to be more competitive and is more competitive, um, they need to sort of consolidate that by making it a proper first person shooter. Um, I don't know any other first person shooters where this would be a thing. So please, please, please get rid of ghost bullets and make bullets actually go where you're aiming. Um, just touching on pulse rifles, I think they're not too bad. Um, I know people think that the Clever Dragon and Grass for Malik and stuff can be a little bit overpowered, um, but I'll touch on that a bit in a minute. Um, I think for pulse rifles in general though, I think they need to have a little bit more damage drop off because they pretty much have the same damage drop off range profile as scout rifles almost, which kind of makes scout rifles less viable. Um, just not too much, but just a little bit more range drop off um, for pulse rifles I think would be really nice. And it wouldn't be the worst, like it won't break pulse rifles because then again maps aren't that big still. So the other thing I wanted to touch on um, that kind of is a bit more related to Grasp of Malik and Clever Dragon is probably getting rid of high caliber rounds and their effect from PvP. You can keep them on the guns and stuff, but the flinch effect, the extra flinch, I don't think that should be in PvP. It's too much of an advantage and it sort of alienates too many people that can't get that roll on their weapon. And it's just super annoying. You can't snipe someone with high cal rounds. Um, while I do enjoy using it, um, I think that it can be a little bit broken at times. 
Okay, now this next one is one that I get high blood pressure from. I get real fired up about, and it's Juggernaut Shields. So I think the damage resistance they get from Juggernaut Shields should be toned down just a touch because they can cop a lot of damage, and not to mention the fact that any damage doesn't overpenetrate and go to the Titan if there's excess damage, like from a fusion rifle or something. It just sort of eats everything, and then you start again, start fresh with the Titan's full health. So I think that's a little bit annoying at times. But my main gripe is with shotgun warriors and the fact that for an entire gunfight, I can be there shooting at someone and then they'll just run in a straight line at me the entire gunfight, not doing anything but running in a straight line at me and they get rewarded with the shotgun kill. No matter even if I'm hitting all my bullets, they, they eat it with their juggernaut shield, then they eat it with their awesome armor and then they shotgun me because the maps are too small and unless they're like on the other side of Bastion or something ridiculous like that, there's no way they... No, I just... <laughs> there's no way that I can like stop them from running at me and killing me with a jug shield. Now, I know I'm over exaggerating a little bit, but that's what it feels like at times, and it's super frustrating, and that simplistic, I'll say dumb playstyle should never be rewarded in a first-person shooter. If you ask someone the fastest way to die in any other first-person shooter, they would say to you, mm, just, just walk in a straight line at your enemy. But in Destiny, that's like the best tactic. It's like the easiest, fastest way to kill someone, so that doesn't make sense to me. I could talk about this subject for a while, but I think I'll probably have an aneurysm, so I'm going to move on. Move on to the last thing, which also gets me having heart palpitations. That's shotguns. Um, now, I'm trying to stay calm and basically just mention a solution that I think will actually help and is doable. And basically, I think just maybe reduce the amount of ammo that you start a match with when you're using a shotgun. So, I think that maybe just start them off with a full clip. So, four bullets or whatever like a matador holds these days and that's it you've got to go find your own ammo after that because at the moment with however many bullets you get whether it's two clips or whatever that's like seven or eight free kills basically for someone with a sniper rifle it's not necessarily it's maybe three or four kills unless you're like hush or cruiser or someone you just hit headshots for days so i know that one might be a little bit controversial but that's the best thing i could come up with sort of in the last couple of days to sort of fix shotguns without completely ruining them and having all the Titan shotgun warriors come crying like a baby for their bottle. Anyway, that's all I had to say today, guys. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you think I missed anything, if you guys have any opinions of your own. Um, I think this is a good video to get some awesome discussion going about this sort of stuff. It's, it's all over the forums, it's all over YouTube, everyone's talking about this sort of stuff. So I wanted to jump in on the conversation and see what you guys think too. If you did enjoy the video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you are enjoying the content, subscribe for more of it. Be sure to check out those videos down below and also follow me on Twitter, guys. I'm going away soon, so follow me on Twitter so I can stay in touch with you guys while I'm overseas. And be sure to send in your clips, guys. I'm putting together my MLG moments top five video and my top five what the fuck moments um, for next weekend, hopefully. So send them in. I need some more clips. Um, there's been some good ones already, but the more the better. That's about it there, guys. So until next time, just keep doing what you're doing. Cheers. <laughs>